Well, another year of chowing down as many hot dogs as you can, but have you ever wondered how those competitive eaters are able to consume that much in so little time? My stomach hurts just <laughs> thinking about it. CBS 13's uh, Tony Lopez has been chewing on that question for years. He's at the answers desk. Well, you and I might feel full after, say, a double-double with fries and a shake. So how do these competitive eaters not feel full? How do they keep eating and eating and eating? It all has to do with what they eat and what they do to prepare. Water, diet soda, watermelon, and cabbage. These low-calorie foods and liquids helps to stretch and relax the stomachs of competitive eaters. The key, experts say, is to learn to relax the esophagus so it can expand, allowing more food to go down. How do you do that? Well, it starts with a technique. The chipmunking of the cheeks to allow more room for food and the constant sipping of water. What does that do? Well, doctors say it allows the food mass to move through the esophagus more quickly, a portion of the route that takes about 10 seconds to move on through for the first mouthfuls and longer for every swallow afterward. One popular way a competitive eater relaxes their esophagus, some guzzle down a gallon of water every morning. Just guzzle it down. That also keeps these eaters from throwing up everything they chow down. But preventing acid from getting into the stomach is also key. And that's what drinking water does. Now here's the part where I tell you, do not try any of this at home or anywhere else unless you are a professional competitive eater. These competitions have doctors standing by just in case. Yes, just in case these men and women bite off more than they can chew. That's the answer's desk for this morning. I'm Tony Lopez. Back to you. <laughs> Oh, my stomach. <laughs> you can send those your questions uh, for the answers desk to uh, T Lopez at KOVR.com or track them down on Facebook, CB, uh, Tony Lopez, CBS Sacramento.